This is the first years. time that a South African has won Miss Universe in 39 years, and I invited her as my guest. Of course. And I'm so happy to be, and it's the first time that we get to meet Margaret. It's, so. And it's so much fun. It's a little overwhelming, but she's so gorgeous and easy. And of course, I'm wearing an Oliver Talentino. Yes, you are representing the Filipinos uh, tonight, the Filipino designer. And she was just in the Philippines. I was. That was great. Yeah, a lot to talk about tonight. So first we got to talk about this dress. So tell me, every year we see you, you're wearing a Filipino designer. Tell me what you love about the fabric and, and the texture and what you love about the dress. Well, I think what the Filipino designers understand is that you're a woman and you have curves and you want to be feminine and beautiful. And Oliver Talentino did that perfectly. I feel very glamorous and like I fit right in. Yes, absolutely. And your friend right here, um, you just went to the Philippines. I so did. Tell me a little bit about how much you enjoyed it and what it was like. Listen, I think for any beauty queen to go to the Philippines, it is just, um, I, I don't know, it's indescribable. The, the, the fans are so, so supportive. And, and to be there was my first official trip. So this is my first appearance. And to have it with Margaret is so special. But the Philippines was great. And I, I love the Filipinos. Now, what uh, advice did uh, Margaret give you? Because uh, you're going to have a hell of a year. <laughs> we just met, so... <laughs> we, literally, we literally haven't had a conversation yet. Yeah. I ran from production down the carpet to find her, and we've whisked right up here. You're the first people we're talking to. Yeah. So it's a total scoop. Thank you so much. Uh, actually, there was online, I was watching, there was a uh, top 10 Miss Universe answers of all time, and one of your yours was up there. And I was like, I've interviewed her. She it was a very good answer. How important is that? Because it seems like that is a big part of it. You gave a great answer. The question and answer seems to hold a lot of weight. Uh, how exciting is it to have that? It looks nerve-wracking. Do you know what, I think if you know yourself and you have opinions and you know what your opinions are of things, it, it shouldn't be nerve-wracking because you know what you stand for, you know your values. And I think it's great that you have an opportunity to express yourself on a, on a global stage and not just show you know, your, your beauty side of of things so I think it, it really is important and as Ms. Universe you have to be up to date about everything that's happening so so yes. Now uh, have you have you been to the Philippines? I did not have that luxury. You have to go where if, if she went to the Philippines what was one place you saw or ate at or met that you would take her to? Um, I had the opportunity to go to Batanes. It's the most uh, northern island of the Philippines and it's so, so beautiful. It's just these green, luscious fields everywhere, beautiful mountains. So I think that's a perfect hideaway, hideaway spot. I'm, I'm packing my bags now. Well, you know, whenever I meet a really stunningly beautiful woman, I ask them, are you from the Philippines? Because the Filipinos are so gorgeous and I'm glad you got a chance to experience that. I know they love their pageants. They are big fans of the pageants. They love it. Right? They are. And we love them for doing that. Yeah. Last question I'll ask you. I mean, I think the big thing that's on everybody's mind today is just how the way that women are being treated. Not, I mean, I think Hollywood, of course, but just globally how women are treated. Um, and now as Miss Universe uh, and as a former Miss Universe, these are topics that people want to hear your opinions about. What do you, what do you just feel in general is, is kind of the next step that we can do to ensure the safety of women? Well, I was unfortunately hijacked a few months ago in South Africa, um, just a month after my crowning. And before that, I had the opportunity to do a, a woman empowerment workshop. And I truly believe that that workshop helped me to get out of that situation in the safest way possible. And I decided to take action, um, you know, against violence against women, anything that is wrongdoing against women. And I started a campaign called Unbreakable, where I hosted workshops all over South Africa, um, giving women the same skills and knowledge that I was fortunate enough to to receive and that is exactly why I'm wearing black tonight. I am standing in solidarity with all women all over the world that has ever been affected or been a victim um, of crime or of uh, sexual harassment.